Next, we have a look here, courtesy of Stay Grounded, regarding Bape's collaboration with Canada Goose. Yes, you heard it right. Bape collaborated with Canada Goose. And I think this Canada Goose collaboration is the perfect example as to why Bape is dead. Because Canada Goose is pretty sick as a company, right? In terms of the jackets and coats that they make. It's quite hard to fuck up a Canada Goose jacket. To take a Canada Goose, to, you know, silhouette. I think many people I've seen really fuck up a silhouette of Canada Goose. Again, I love Drake, but October's very own. Drake's label, Drake's fashion brand, OVO, they did a collaboration with Canada Goose a few years ago and it was fucking horrendous. It looked like some R&B shit. It was horrendous. I didn't like it at all. But I think in general, it's kind of hard to fuck up a Canada Goose jacket. I remember having one Canada Goose type jacket from Vetement that I used to wear that was fucking amazing and there's been collaborations prior to that and there's been a car one that kind of good jackets are just a great template a great base to kind of work from but obviously ever since Nigo left Bape you know 10 plus years ago Canada Goose's Bape has gone down the shit it's been fucking terrible and a lot of it has to do with the holding company that now owns Bape I think it's called IT IT or something company in China and for some reason these guys haven't got an ability to find decent designers and it's really odd because if you go and look at i've got old bape magazines they've got a, a really deep archive of things that you can easily just bring back again and just change the colorways you can bring back different type of plaid jackets different type of leather jackets bomber jackets jeans trainers and just tweak some things here and there it's easy done they've got like you know nigo designed a lot of things over his tenure at bape that you could easily pull from but these guys are incapable of doing that even. They're incapable of just taking a Bape snowball jacket and then remaking it new nowadays. They don't can't do it. So these new designers are fucking terrible. And I think a good example of how terrible they are is how dog shit this Bape Canada Goose collaboration is. It's so shit. Like, look at it. Like, what the fuck is that? Official first look at the Canada Goose Bape collaboration dropping on December 10th, uh, 2nd, sorry. And... I don't even know what model of Canada Goose jacket that is, but this all over camo print on this type of jacket is horrendous. You've got the double badges on either side. Terrible. If it was me, I would put both badges on one side. Canada Goose may be on top and that may be below or something. But putting them on either side is just unnecessary. Just over branded for the sake of branding for the sake of it. It's just whatever it is. The camo print, the down print, the down jacket of it is fucking gash. The shape of the jacket is horrible. And then the model pictures, the lookbook pictures are just ghastly really make it look ghastly there's also a vest that includes in it with the camo design as well i think the vest looks like a different material from the down jacket maybe i'm not really too sure but yeah the logo looks better when it's done side by side like this as you can see here on the vest it's got the one cat but the way it's been done on the shoulders of the jacket on either end is just naff like why would you do that but again they want to get the branding out there they want people to know what you're wearing so it kind of is what it is but the vest is just horrendous like absolutely terrible like even the models can't make it look good even the fucking models can't make this shit look good like that just looks so shit and they could look they, they've got the babe logo they've got the kind of goose logo there a babe logo there and then they've still got another logo here they just couldn't help it even though you know what you're wearing, you see the fucking bape head camo, you see the fucking badges, they have to add another badge on the fucking pocket. They can't even, you know, like the overbranding is just unnecessary. And it's just, it's sad to see because bape was one of my favorite brands growing up. Um, it was kind of my introduction to streetwear, that and Supreme and the hundreds and, you know, um, Mighty Healthy and what else to kind of think of that I used to wear back in the day, like Diamond and Supply and shit. So it's crazy to see these brands I used to kind of grow up on or I grew up with that introduced me to a lot of this stuff have gone to complete shit and Bape is a good example of it like buying stuff that's made nowadays from Bape is a waste of time it absolutely is terrible you're better off just going to fucking boohoo men or something and buying clothes from there you're better off buying stuff from fucking Timu I swear to god you're better off spending 100 quid on Timu shit than buying anything Bape does because it's absolutely ghastly like this stuff is so shit everything about it is terrible and yeah it's sad to see really so yeah, fuck that Canada Goose collaboration. I fucking hate it. I absolutely hate everything about it.